Hi everyone. All of the matter around you is made up of atoms. Uh, and atoms have a variety of different types. Uh, those types of atoms are called elements. Now, elements are a pure substance of one type of atom. So, for example, you might find monoatomic iodine, where individual atoms of iodine might float around as gas or liquid, uh, or uh, you might have molecules of an element. For example, if you had some pure oxygen, uh, in that case, uh, you would have two uh, different atoms that are chemically bound together. Uh, so when you see two atoms so close together, that means there's a chemical bond. Um, <clears throat> so you might have pure elements that make up matter, but sometimes different types of atoms, uh, different elements, combine together in certain defined ratios, and those give us a compound. A compound is a pure substance uh, made from two or more types of atoms. Um, now, around the world, a compound should always be the same. You know, you can go to, you know, Flynn.com or VWR.com and buy pure potassium permanganate. Uh, that's always the same. It's always 1K for every MN, for every four O's. Uh, now, there is a pure version of water, uh, H2O, uh, where, yeah, it's just water molecules. That is called distilled water. Uh, you should uh, commit some of these things to memory. Uh, pure water uh, would have two hydrogen atoms bound to each oxygen atom. So you would see that here and here and here. Other uh, pure compounds that you might commit to memory would be pure sodium chloride, i.e. table salt. Uh, so uh, you might find uh, one uh, chloride for every sodium, one chloride for every sodium, ditto, ditto, ditto. It's always that defined ratio of one to one. All around the world, that's pure sodium chloride. And there's also table sugar, um, C12H22O11. Always the same around the world. Uh, if there were other things mixed in there, uh, like for example, if you had, you know, honey or uh, maple syrup, then it wouldn't be table sugar. It would be maple syrup, there'd be a whole bunch of other things like water, etc. Now, when we have elements in the same container as a compound, uh, or multiple compounds together, then we have a mixture. Uh, mixture is when matter with different substances uh, are present. So uh, there's different types of mixtures around the earth uh, for uh, a certain named thing. You know, there's sort of different versions of air. Uh, you know, air is 80% nitrogen, approximately, 20% oxygen, approximately, and uh, just 380, or actually 400 or so parts per million of carbon dioxide, along with other things like neon, uh, argon, etc. So air can uh, kind, of, kind of be different. Around a smokestack, you might find more carbon dioxide than not around a smokestack. So uh, how do you know air is a mixture? There's different types around the world. Like right around, uh, you know, uh, right outside your mouth, you might have more carbon dioxide than high up in the atmosphere, for example. Now, another uh, example of a mixture is spring water. Yeah, so pure water is a compound, but if water is mixed up with some calcium sulfate, uh, or magnesium sulfate, or some sodium chloride, then uh, it might be spring water, or uh, you know, salt water, or brackish water. There's various types of water that have different names than pure distilled water. Uh, similarly, pure sodium chloride is known as table salt, but there's various other types of salt, like Himalayan salt, which is kind of pink. It's not only got sodium chloride, but it also has potassium permanganate, etc. Now, there are two types of mixtures that you should be familiar with. Uh, there are homogeneous mixtures and there are heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous should mean same. Homo means same, hetero means different. So homogeneous mixtures appear the same throughout. So for example, if you were to dissolve uh, pure sodium chloride into water, that sodium chloride would 
uh, spread out evenly throughout that mixture if you gave it enough time and if it were not too concentrated. And so it would appear the same throughout because at a particulate level, uh, there's an equal distribution of chloride ions and sodium ions. Similarly, what else might be homogeneous? What else might look the same uh, throughout the whole mixture? Food coloring dissolved in water. Air looks the same everywhere, even though uh, it may not, uh, it was, even though it's not a pure substance. Um, orange juice, if it's, if it's non-pulpy orange juice, it should look pretty much the same throughout. Ditto milk. So these are some things that you should commit to memory uh, for assessment. And then heterogeneous mixtures, they appear different throughout. They look different throughout. So an example would be oil mixed up with water. You know, oil and water don't really mix very well. Uh, they don't dissolve in each other. Um, oil will hang out on the top of water because uh, water isn't really attracted to oil. Instead, water is more attracted to itself. It's uh, got uh, the ability to hydrogen bond with uh, other water molecules. So they don't mix up very well, and oil will go on top because it's less dense. Sand mixed up with water, um, trail mix, pulpy orange juice. These are some common examples that I might put on assessments. Thanks for